What's up, everybody? We are here ready to go arena. We have built our team in the previous video, so check that video out. Let's go queue up arena right now. Refresher, because I built the team actually early this morning. So there we have right here. So let's go ahead and jump into arena. We have a lot of new players that we're seeing over here. Let's go social and see who's online. No one is online. No. Wow. No one, absolutely no one in my friends list is online. This is like buggy and it's not working. But there's also another social feature that has been fixed. And this is my chat channel right here. So I've created an arena chat channel. You can create any chat channel that you want. So you can be like, hello, or, you know, ask clown. And <laughs> channels cannot campaign for vanity. Well, I guess you can't have ask clown channel. But you can have hello channel. And there's no channel by that name. Would you like to create it? So you can have a private chat channel. Tell your friends, like, ASPFDQ and go there and we'll chat privately. And, you know, only those people that actually know your channel will be able to find it. If you do something normal, like like Arena, Arena is a typical phrase that people may put into the chat box here to look for. So if anyone is like-minded, like myself, that wants to do Arena matches and wants to talk about Arena tactics, they might type in Arena here to see. What about, like, tips? There's no channel that we can create the tips. Uh, we can do tricks. Create. Hi. I wonder if there's a devs channel. So you can create a whole bunch of of channels no devs dev I wonder about undead labs undead labs nope so if you find a channel I'll be like do you want to join that channel with that person uh, let's see here not many people know about these channels so this is definitely something that needs to be the stepped up the game needs to be stepped up here and demonstrate these chat channels these things are amazing love private chat channels the only thing that could be better is if like it was like a global chat, but I, I understand that they don't want to have a lot of spam on the on the screen there and profanity and stuff like that. So if there's a, a global, everyone just spews out things from their uh, avatar, that could actually deter a lot of players. So we just wanted to it. I don't even remember. Okay, so we have all right. All right, now it's coming back to me. It's coming back to me, guys. Uh, I know what we have. We have Grand Viger and we have Burning Surge over here. We uh, are buffing up strength attacks so we have spirit attack right there spirit attack right there we're gonna wait for the water attack because we definitely want to get the water attack off these guys are both weak to water uh we don't want to waste our our attacking skill on a basic attack here so we are going to go and attempt to attack the cannon fly if not the rock hound is gonna guard it because he's guarding right now but he's gonna grant it renewal because Oh, he's dispelled, so he's not going to grant a renewal. Fire defense. So that worked out really well here. Now we're going to go with our spin word strike, which is the unique skill. Oh, down, down, she wrote. I'm lagging over here a little bit with my keys. So again, hot keys are king. We are waiting for the water skill. Nope, did not get it off. We'll bring out our lightning guy here. To take care of the water creature. He's got Toxin 1 on our grass. Thankfully, he's got Primal Recovery there. So he's going to recover every time he, he uh, deals nature damage here. That Spark Barrage is going to take down. And now we got the unique Lightning Lash, Burn, and Root. Oh, that's a horrible combination for our, our Lightning Solari over there. He's probably going to get just toasted. Oh, he got his Lightning Lash off. Nice. Small fry. We're down to our last two. It's two on two, and we're actually really, really bad. We're not using our hotkeys to summon out people. Uh, so I'm definitely out of sync right now with the Steam clients. Hotkeys are one, two, three, four, five, six to summon Solaris, and then ASD to select the Solari. It looks like we have this in the bag here, though. So he is resistant to fire, so we are going to go use the basic attack there. And that's all she wrote. So, yeah, so one, two, three, four, five. Uh, learn those guys. Use those guys. Learn where your Solari are. Press them out. You can press two keys at the same time to summon out two Solari at the same time. Hot keys are king. 
they speed everything up dramatically. And then ASD will summon and select your units. Uh, will select your units. So A will select the first Solari that is like down here in the bottom left. S will select your Warden. And D will select the right Solari. There's also, I believe, like QWSR. I believe those are hotkeys as well for the skills. Uh, but for me, it's just, it's too complex. I can't learn that shit. And I want to use my mouse to click. And so then I can actually, uh, you know, click, click, click. I'm very good at clicking. I play Clicker Heroes and Cookie Clicker. So I'm very good at clicking, if you know anything about those games. All right, so match number two here. Unfortunately, we missed the live stream today, and it's late, late at night, so there's not many players actively on. So let's see what he's bringing out. So let's bring out a nature and a water here. Hopefully, yep, that's the right affinity matchups. Oops. We attacked the wrong one with the lightning creature over here with the zap coil. I'm actually listening to the live stream in the background as well. got Grand Viger up now. So it seems like they did a very cool thing today in the stream. They uh, did an arena run, but they allowed the audience to participate and choose by voting what Solari would be in the team. One of the six. So we have we have Viger on, so we're going to use the Fearless Lunge. That's going to do massive damage to the Zugathor. Yep, took him out right there with that Fearless Lunge. So now we're going to redirect to the, the Slithy. So we threw up some regeneration here. Because we're just dominating this guy right here. This is a great setup for us. Man down! Man down! We got regeneration up. Thankfully, we got the snap trap back out here. So he has regeneration on. Still a great advantage here. Two nature solaris that are very strong against that water. That water doesn't do that much damage. So a little slow. This is my second match here on Steam today. So I'm not as sharp as you'd want to be. And again, we talked about hotkeys in the first fight. Hotkeys are critical. So that was a misclick attack. The warden there. I did not want to attack the warden with the hedgelock. It's not going to matter. He's on the two Solari. We're at five. All right, so we're going to bring out the Aerodactyl. He's got the water attacks there. And this should be all Shiro here once I get this neutralizing tide off. Big damage. The snap trap's going down. Ooh. Ooh. He's taking two guys down. So we uh, underestimated the small fry. That's what happens when you get, uh, get complacent there. Small fry has fire defense. He was resistant to those nature types that we had. And there he is. Down. Down to the small fry. I, unfortunately, this is what happens late nights. So let's see here. Uh, oh, again, hotkeys. So you always want to have hotkeys going. One, two, three, four, five to summon. That will speed up your your times dramatically. 
And so we are going to go throw the unique hedge lock, the toxic needle. And you can see that's why we want to get rid of that Keminoid, because Keminoid has that huge unique skill that just decimated our hedge lock right there. And if he actually hit with the gravel jaw, we'd be dead. But the regeneration is going to bring hedge lock back up to pretty much full. So that's why when you look at it, it's like you must kill the Solari in one shot. If you don't, then you're running into issues where regeneration's ticking or resurgence is ticking, and they're just going to keep staying alive. Sportle. All right, so fire and Zef Quill now. So we lost some tempo there. We're able to come out here, and now we're going to go focus fire on one. Focus fire on the Sportle, try and get rid of him. So this should do it. And you can see we had to focus fire him still as the, uh, the Warden is healing him up with relics. Got him down, so now that attack from the small fry is going to go into a different target, which is going to aim for the front row. Big one right there. So we have Viger, so we're going to use our Fearless Lunge. Fearless Lunge looks like it missed right there. <laughs> Snap trap, wrong one. Oh. So you don't want to be sliding out with your finger there, with your mouse. That's bad, 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 bad. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So unfortunately, this Aerodactyl doesn't have any water moves right off the bat, so he's got a long boot on his water skills. So we're going to actually hold off and go with the Polar Vorpix because the Leaf Root right there took himself out. So what we waited, we waited for the unique skill because the Nature Solari we were using was actually going to petrify him. And so we were just, it didn't really matter unless that guy got interrupted. We'll go ahead and queue up for the next fight. Take a look and see if anyone is online now.